What causes our brain to develop into this particular shape with its walnut-looking wrinkles? To better understand the structure of our essential organ, a team of researchers from Israel's Wiseman Institute decided to grow tiny brains in a lab using embryonic stem cells. Ram is uh, preparing uh, devices which uh, we're going to put on them uh, small aggregates of uh, cells that are originating from pluripotent stem cells. And these aggregates are going to develop into mini brains. Being able to observe brain development in real time was impossible to do until now. We have here on the device, we have the live organoids and we want to film them while they are growing. And we have here conditions that allow them to grow. So they are located inside the plate. They have the media they like. They have 37 degrees Celsius that is perfect for them. It's the temperature of the body. And they have 5% uh, CO2 that is uh, also requested for them. And you can see here in green, you can see here the cytoskeleton, and these red dots are the nuclei of these cells, and they're actually moving up and down during their development. These experiments allowed Professor Orly Reiner to better understand mechanisms of lesencephaly, a set of rare brain disorders where the surface of the brain is smooth and results in severe developmental deficiencies. Lesencephaly is found in one of 30,000 births. We don't really have a brain on a plate, but we have something that does mimic the brain folds at the early stages of development and can give us both uh, physical, biomechanical and also molecular insights on how, what are the mechanisms that the, the brain is undertaking in order to fold. These studies open up several new perspectives. Can we dream of an entire brain manufactured in a lab? Maybe we can learn how to develop different areas of the brain and maybe we can, we'll be able to offer like substitution of some cells in the brain in some cases where specific areas are. I think that uh, one, of the, one of the lucky things in science that what we thought maybe a few years ago is science fiction, today is reality. Thanks to these advancements, scientists hope to gain better understanding of other disorders associated with brain development, including microcephaly, epilepsy, and schizophrenia, and perhaps one day unveil the many mysteries of the human brain and its 100 billion of neurons.